Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here. Joe Boo uh, is back in the room right now. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I'm here actually on vacation with the wife and stuff um, and a bunch of friends. This is our 50th uh, birthday party, delayed by about three years, as well as our 15th wedding anniversary, kind of a combination vacation. And you know, they always say you have to stop and smell the roses, you know? Everybody right now is pretty much passed out in bed sleep, but you know me, guys. I need my coffee, and I don't sleep a lot. Whenever I travel, wherever I go, I always like to get up early and catch the sunrise. The sun coming up to me is like a rebirth. It's a new life. It's a new day. It's a chance to start all over. It's a reset button. And no matter where you are, every sunrise looks completely different from the last. Vacation, yeah. You know, our Dallas Cowboys need to re hit, hit the reset button. They need to begin anew. They need a fresh start. They need that dawn to wake up. You know, I'm kind of old school in my thinking. Back when I played football, you know, you could consider me a Nathanderall, you know? We played a lot differently than they played these days. And coaches, as well as players, were totally different on their mentality and what they did for football. The collective bargaining agreement changed everything. We used to have two a days with a special teams practice where we hit for six weeks before a season started. Now you've got 12 padded practices before the season starts and then only 11 during the season. It's kind of a part-time thing. As much as I hate the Washington Redskins, Joe Gibbs was known to literally have a football widow. During the season, he did not leave Redskins Park. He had a mattress and a sheet um, there. He was constantly watching film, trying to find an edge over the opponents. And he constantly went, I hate the Redskins, I still hate the Redskins. But you have to admire somebody with the drive. Now here we have Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett at the World Series. Yeah. Because I'm old school, I look at this as you do anything and everything that you can get an advantage you have a brand new player in your team, Amari Cooper. You need to find out everything, every nuance that you can about this guy. You got to look at your team and say, we have only nine games left to try and make it to the playoffs. We need to know everything we can about each and every one of those teams in a way to get a win. Our offense, which is basically what you are really in charge of, we know you don't do anything with the defense has been putrid, it's been pathetic, it's been below par. It is even hard to even watch. You need every single minute of the day to work on this. But you're there at the World Series. You know, a lot of people won't take a vacation, it's not even a day off, because they worry about losing their job. They feel that if I'm not there, somebody else can replace me. Apparently, Jason Garrett doesn't have that fear. Take a look around yesterday. Everybody that we needed to lose won. Margin for error is getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. Yeah.
I don't know, guys. I'm kind of hoping. that a sunrise will come with a new coach for the Dallas Cowboys in the very near future. Let's see if we can get you a little bit better view of the one coming up now. Sunrise, guys. Oh, that's Cuba right there. Maybe I can get some cigars for Joe Boo. Good morning, everyone. Here comes the sun. Thanks for joining me this morning, friends. It's the beginning of a new day and a new week and a new season for the Dallas Cowboys. Nine games to prove that they belong.
kid, I'll see you guys.